Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy video, I'm going to go over the Mystic Gunslinger. So this will be the class spotlight for the Mystic Gunslinger. The Mystic Gunslinger is your typical glass cannon type character. He has control over six uh, basic elements and one special ele element of fusion. Um, most of uh, the Mystic Gunslinger's attacks are going to be gun based and also tied to an element. All of the Mystic Gunslinger's attacks also have a chance to inflict a debuff, um, one of six different debuffs, that act as a mild poison. So you have like chilled, burning, shocked, rocked, soaked, and uh, you have your fusion shot, which would be your seventh element, which is a combination of all of the elements. And they have a higher percent chance to inflict uh, the, the status debuffs, as well as um, the fact that one attack can inflict up to six different debuffs on one target. So this is your glass cannon, does a lot of damage, doesn't have a lot of HP, uh, but can issue a lot of damage really, really quickly. So let's go over the Mystic Gunslinger attributes. So the Mystic Gunslinger, um, in my game it's 15 uh, straight across on the experience curve. Now this is going to be different for everybody's game, but the parameter curves you could keep similar. We're going to have a basic C rank for HP, a B rank for MP, an A rank for attack, a C rank for defense, a B rank for magic attack, a D rank for magic defense, a B or C rank for agility, and a C rank for uh, luck. I've started my uh, Mystic Gunslinger gaining skills at level 10 since he's acquired uh, at level 20 in the party. So when you first get him, he's got all the way up to Flame Shot 2. That'll give him the first set of six uh, skills that he can use. The Flame Shot, Frost Shot, Shock Shot, Aqua Shot, Geo Shot, and the Arrow Shot. Upon level 20, the Tech 2s kick in and they end up doing more damage. Level 30 to 40, they get the Tech 3s and at level 40, you get the first Fusion Shot and then 10 levels later, you'll get the Fusion Shot too. Of course, more skills will be added, but this can be your basic template that you can use. Um, as far as the traits, I haven't modified them too much. I've given the Mystic Gunslinger an extra 1% chance for hit rate to make up for lower HP compared to the other classes. I've increased the critical rate to 5%. I've allowed the Mystic Gunslinger to use a, a type of skill called Tech, which is basically your special, uh, special attack. Um, they use guns primarily, and mining is just for the mining system in this game. You would may not have that. Uh, and then I've allowed all of my classes to preserve TP also through the Yenfly uh, Enhanced TP plugin. So let's look at those skills. For your flame shot, you're going to set the element to fire, and you're going to let the player know that this is, has a chance, this attack has a chance to inflict burning, so you'll have to make some states for that. Um, I've put all of their skills into the tech and based it off of TP costs. Uh, I've allowed the first. Uh, set of shots to actually gain a small amount of TP back just to uh, increase the damage output. Also the, st the chance that they'll inflict the appropriate state is set to 20% on this one. I've given all of the, the attacks custom icons and custom animations. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. Uh, the skills will be, will be scoped for one enemy only since they are focused fire type of, uh, um, focused fire type of class. Um, the occasion will be only in battle screen. These type of hits are physical attacks and uh, basically go with the uses for the message. And I've uh, made all of these type of attacks require a gun. For the damage formula, it's HP damage and each element has its own, uh, each type of shot has its own appropriate uh, element. The damage formula is pretty uh, interesting. I am using armor scaling with the damage core, so I'm not using any deduction. Um, I've got the attack times 2, plus magic attack times 2, plus agility times 2, plus luck times 2. Uh, this is because they're already doing so much power and they're going to have uh, the ability to do so many, um, what do you call it, there's so many moves based on low TP cost. I didn't want to stack most of the damage all on attack or all on a magic magic attack because in my per in my game I've made a system so that they can enhance stats based on whichever they choose. So in order for balancing, uh, I've distributed the damage across the stats so even if they focus on one stat, it'll balance out towards the end and you won't have one that's super powered towards the end of the game. Variance, I've set it, uh, I left it default at 20 and I've allowed critical for all the shots and then for the effects I've allowed to inflict 20% on the first tier. Moving on to the second tier, um, I've increased the chance of the inflicting the state by 25%. I've increased the base number by one on each one, so they're all times three. Increased the TP cost 
and uh, that's about it. Moving on down to the third tier, uh, I've increased the, the damage again, uh, one to each of the stats, uh, and increased the chance of the inflicting of a state to 30%. At level 40, they get Fusion Shot, which is a combination of all six of the elements, so I've allowed 10% chance to inflict each of the elements so there's actually a 60% chance that um, the enemy will be receiving a debuff which acts as a 5% negative HP uh, per turn so it's like a weak poison uh, the TP cost on fusion shot is a little bit higher but by the time they get it they should have plenty of TP and been able to be able to save up TP uh, the damage is also increased from the tech 3 to 4 all the way to the fusion shot of 5 the Fusion Shot 2 jumps up again to 6 and have increased the chance to 15% per element, so 15 times 6. Um, we're looking at, what is this, a 90, 30, 60, 90% chance to inflict the debuff. The TP cost is 100. I did have it set to 150 and you can increase that if you want, but I thought it uh, they blow through TP too fast at 150, so I set it down to one, <coughs> 100. This is all, there are all physical attacks. I've made custom animations and icons, as I said. Um, that's it for all of the skills. I did make a custom weapon, uh, like the relic weapon for the the Mystic Gunslinger, um, and I've allowed uh, the basic attack to have a 10% chance to inflict uh, each of the Tech 1 versions, so just from the regular attack you might actually get one of the shot attacks. I've made a separate video on that, so I'm not going to go into Weapon Unleash on this uh, tutorial. Um, let's go over the states real quick in case you were interested in creating this class. So the states that we're going to be making are the Burning, the Chilled, the Soaked, the Shocked, and the Rocked, and the Dizzy state. Um, they're pretty simple to make. You're just going to check Remove at the end of battle, duration of five turns. Uh, everything will stay default. Priority 50 works fine. Give it the icon of Fire for Burning. Call it Burning. We're going to make the EX parameter, HP regeneration, negative 5%. Make sure this is a negative 5%. Um, and then I've made an element rate of uh, fire times 125. So when they are burning, they take 25% more damage from fire. Um, so this is also somewhat of a utility, but it's mainly for damage because they'll put the state and then they'll be able, if one of the states lands, then the Mystic Gunslinger can stick to, oh, he's burning, so I'm going to do fire shot continually to stack that burning effect and do 25% extra damage. Um, a good strategy that I've noticed towards the middle of the game is to use fusion shot and then you have a higher chance of getting one of those debuffs and whatever debuff lands you start using the regular shots for less TP but the 25% damage bonus. So for the chill it'd be the same thing except different icon and instead of fire element rate you're doing ice element rate. Same thing for shock but for thunder, soaked would be for water, rocked would be for earth and dizzy would be for wind. That's pretty much it. As for the animations, how I did the animations is I found the, the default gun animation and then I uh, made a custom, uh, I basically tweened icons. So uh, you saw them in game so I don't really need to go through all of them. But basically you find the gun one, copy that, paste it, and then go select a new icon right here. And then um, over here you can right click insert new. And then on the first one, put the, the first animation that you want and add it to the last animation but make it a lot larger by increasing uh, let's see if we can go here I might show you go just increase the scale up and the opacity down so all you need is uh, frame one in the last frame and then you just hit tween hit OK and then it'll put all the frames in between um, some of them I had to do a little spend a little bit of time tweaking it so that it doesn't look funny and you may have to do that but uh, that's basically it as for the icons I just edited it in Photoshop so I just loaded up the icon set you can go into your game folder really quickly. I'll show you where that's at. So once you've found your game folder, um, to find it if you're not sure, you go to game and you just open folder right here. And you, if you open that up in Photoshop, you can go to your system folder. So you would go to IMG system and then you're, you're going to open up your icon set dot PNG. And then if you press Control and Plus, you can zoom in, and you can see right here we have our icon set. So all I basically did was went over to the gun. I highlighted the gun. I press Control C. I scroll down to an empty spot. I pressed Control V. Then I went over to one of the elements. Highlighted one of the elements. Try to stay in the box. You're going to copy that. Make sure that you go back to layer 0 when you copy. 
And then you're going to go over to the gun. And press Control V. And then you pasted it over there. And if it looks like this, you can always drag the layers. And then that'll put it front. All you do is hit File Save. And then say yes, you want to override it. And uh, then you have the custom icon. It's that quick and that easy. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Real short, real easy. Um, the Mystic Gunslinger, I thought I did it a long time ago. I made this class a little while ago, but I've had some special requests. So for those of you who are asking about it, there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this class spotlight, like, favorite, share, subscribe. I really appreciate the thumbs up. It helps me out. And we will see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really love and appreciate each one of you know that. We will see you in the next tutorial.